I'm Craig Stewart. I'm sure you know me from The Gamer's Table, or The Gamer's Table Independent Edition, or Cooking with Craig, or The Design Series, or Game On, or Did You Read the Book? We're on our fifth year of production. Shows are already being produced for you, but to be honest, it's getting a little bit too expensive to do. The Gamer's Table is in danger of going away. We've had several issues, especially over the last year. Some of you remember how we had the long downtime because equipment died, and that sort of thing is expensive. And lovely times, uh, a recent lightning storm has taken out one of the computers that we use to do things on the gamer's table, so that's going to need to be replaced. We're having some equipment issues as well that are going to need to be upgraded or replaced in the very near future. And the studio itself is costing a fair bit of money to keep. That's why I'm talking to you today. I wanted to talk to you about the Indiegogo campaign for the Gamers Table to help us keep producing the high quality shows that you've come to know and love. You say, wait a minute, you guys, why should we contribute? Which is a good question. Well, for one thing, you're helping to get a full year of all those shows and more. Who knows what we're going to develop over the course of the year. It's also helping to bring to YouTube in June 1st The Case of the Missing Brother, the short film that I shot over the winter last year that has been getting very good reviews, critical acclaim, that sort of thing. What your money funds is the production of the show. It covers, um, helps with the rent for the studio. It helps with maintaining the equipment and getting new equipment to bring you a better experience. It helps with getting the props and supplies for all the special shows we do. If you've been a regular watcher of the show, you've seen the special Halloween shows, the special April Fool's Day shows we do, the, you know, game, the, our favorite moments of the year that people contributed in, the contests that we run. These sort of things are all what you'd be helping to fund. So the the value we're looking for right now is is $4,000. The best thing about it is funding the show means you're funding all of those shows. Not just the gamer's table, not just game on, but all of those shows and whatever we produce in the future of this year. And there will be more coming, definitely. We're going to try and keep up with everything. We're going to try and keep it going, but we really do need your help right now. What can we offer you? Well, you get the full year of all these shows. We should say, well, that's really not very much. We kind of want some more. Everyone who donates to the campaign at all will get uh, their name on the website saying they're one of the supporters of our shows. If you donate $25, you can get one of these fridge magnets or buttons that you can proudly wear showing that you support the gamer's table. There are different designs you can choose from, like the new gamer's table intro. Douchebaggery! If you've watched the show, you know what that means. And then the simple, I watch the gamer's table. These are all available in fr fridge magnets and buttons for your pleasure at the $25 level. At the $100 level, you get one of these cool mugs. This is one of the one of ones. There's several different designs, as you can see. You can choose your style, and it'll come out to you pretty much right away as soon as we get your payment. At the $200 level, you get yourself button fridge magnet, get one of the mugs, and you get listed as a producer for one of our shows. You can choose which one, and that'll last for the whole year. That's a lot of times of your name showing up on the screen for people to see. Pretty good deal. At the $500 level, you get everything that I mentioned before, the, the button or fridge magnet, the mug, being listed as a producer, and you can choose uh, a book and movie for uh, Did You Read the Book? or a game to review on the gamers table, or you could have a series of questions that you and your friends got together and you want, or if you want to see us play a board game and do the game footage as we did for the um, Legend of Drizzt one that you may have seen. So those are some of the things you would get if you donated to the show. Aside from keeping some shows you really enjoy watching on the air, there will be some stretch goals announced if we manage to make more than the minimum amount required. But just so you know, even if we don't make the full amount, everything that's donated is going to go towards keeping the show on the air, keeping the show produced for you guys. So you get to see more episodes of all your favorite things. You get to see more games reviewed. You get to see more movies and books compared. You get to see more of the magic series that Chris is doing. You get to see more cooking shows if you want to learn how to cook. In case you aren't familiar with the gamer's table, 
Let me show you a couple of the couple of clips from some of the episodes. Hello, and welcome to a special edition of the Gamers Table. What's happening, dudes? <laughs> when we did that review, we reported on the fact that the tiles in the game were very curved. These were the original tiles. This is after me folding them and bending them and trying to get them flat. You can see they're all really curved, even though I did a lot of work on them to try and flatten them out. And here are also the... Hello! Hey. Welcome to the Gamer's Hello. Table! Here it is. Finally. We have waited for almost two months now to be able to show you what's in this box. Okay. We have opened it up. We know what's in the box. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what's in the box. I'm just ex I'm so excited for all you guys to get to see this game. Oh yeah. Okay. Ken, how about pulling out the game? Okay. It's a board game. And here is the game that we couldn't tell you about until right now. Yeah. Which way's up? <laughs> that way's up. All right, I got it. I held it the right way. All the asteroid just basically wandered into a wall and blocked us off, and we're playing a team game. We couldn't get past the wall in time to get around to the other side and get our targets while well, these guys just were, oh, they got cleaned oh, through the and cleaned right yes, up. Yes, <laughs> uh, The war, best part about it is the asteroids seemed to be walking in to sh line up so we could just shoot them one after the other. Yeah, it was, it was just really crazy right at the start. We, we were one with the universe. The walls. Yes. Yeah. We will put all the names of all the people who send something in into a big drum and draw one winner. And the winner will get a game signed by the guys from the gamers table. We'll give you a choice of three or four games that we could possibly let you have and you can pick one. They're not taking Goliath away from me. No, we're not going to take, idiot, we're not going to take games out of your collection. <laughs> you realize that was just a joke. I know. Just like you. Yeah, shit. Fucking smack you, baldy. <laughs> uh, so enter the contest. Enter, well, once. The, the giant squid mini expansion that you pick up from Board Game Geek adds in these, a new ruling and these four little squid. The different uh, boards that go around the outside, just to randomize the map a little bit. Get your, uh, Starting token. Mm. You don't start the mm. stop the camera while I'm talking here, man. Mm. You got your dice if you like those things. Mm. Hey. Mm. Hey. hey, you think we're playing asteroids or something? Get your hand up. Nice. I got it. Bra brains. Nice. What about uh, brains? brains. So, I guess that wraps things up for the gamers table. See you next Monday, where we review another game! Um, I'll let you run this. If you, if you play this game by the rules that are in the rule book, it's not a long game. But if you play the game like everybody plays the game... With free parking... And all sorts of other house rules, it's a long, long game. Long game. It will suck the life out of you even faster than he will. That's good one, Igor. Yeah, that's very good. Kiss the game. As you can see from that, we do some very high production value shows. We do some theme shows on different things. So if those kind of shows sound like something you'd like to see, maybe take a couple moments, click on that, and send us a, send us a few dollars to help out. Up until now, I've been funding everything for the show out of pocket, and it's just got to be, unfortunately, too much. The wolves are definitely at the door, threatening to lose the studio, and that would shut down everything. So obviously we don't want that. So if you're if you enjoyed any of our shows in the past, uh, the Gamers Table, where we review board games from mainstream publishers, or the Gamers Table Independent Edition, where we review games from independent publishers. If you've enjoyed the 
Magic with Chris, where he does unboxing videos and describes the new expansions that are coming out. If you've enjoyed Did You Read the Book, where I compare movies and books and see how close to the book they are when they do their adaptation. If you like the cooking show, hey, write in because that one's new. We really want to know if you're enjoying the cooking show and want more recipes. If you want more in the game design series about how you design a game. If you enjoyed Game On and are looking forward to more episodes of that with myself and uh, Barry Doublet. These are all things that might be going away. I know it sounds like a telethon and I'm not trying to, but that's the situation right now. It's all definitely up in the air. All that stuff, um, yeah. That's uh, and now here's and now here's the bad part about. It. I mean, if 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 we don't raise the money, all this stuff is going to go away. There's unfortunately no way to sugarcoat it. That's where the that's the situation I'm in right now. If there's no financial assistance coming on for the shows, they're probably going to disappear. And I would rather that didn't happen. But, yeah, a little bit up against the wall right now. So that's why I'm talking to you guys, the people who watch this show, or the people who are on Indiegogo and say, hey, you know what? That sounds like something I might like to watch, but I haven't watched up to this date. Come on and watch it. If you think that's something you might be interested in, why don't you, uh, you know, click on one of the buttons and donate for it. You get yourself some cool perks, and you'll keep some great shows on the air. I really hope you can help me out. Um, and we'll see you on the show. Reviewing more games and talking about movies and cooking and all those good things. So thanks for your attention and I hope you can help us out. <laughs>